Let's talk Tanya for the ninth of Tishrei, Erev Yom Kippur of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we explained how the infinite light of God manifests over, over itself over here, in our physical world, most specifically in the lowest element of our world, which is the element of Earth. Um, and we see that in the fact that the power to produce Yashmi Ayin, something from nothing, um, is in the Earth. That all the plants that grow, the trees that grow, which all of these are something from nothing, and that is within the power of the earth, and because the Ur and Saf, the infinite light of God, is manifest within the earth. And in today's Tanya, Dr. Rebbe says, there's another idea over here. Not only the fact that the ground has the capacity to create something from nothing, but also there's some sort of an infinite potential within the land, and that is that if this world were to exist forever, so the land would be, the earth would be able to produce an infinite amount of produce. Um, it's not, this power to produce is not limited as evidenced by the fact it doesn't get weaker year to year. If, we're, if, it, was infinite, if it was finite, then every single year it would produce a little less, a little less, a little less until it stopped, but we don't see that. And that's because it has the infinite ability every single year to produce again, 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 and again, and again. And how is it that something which is finite has an infinite power to it, and that is once again because of the infinite light of God which is manifest within the ground. And here the Alter Rebbe notes something interesting, which is that yes, the ground has this power of infinity, it also has the power to create something from nothing as we explained yesterday, but nevertheless, if we don't work the ground, if we don't cultivate the ground, then the harvest that we're going to have is going to be by far inferior than if we were to actually um, plow the land and harvest it and uh, plow it and, uh, and plant and put in our human effort and endeavor into it. And the analog to this, the nimshal to this, is the same thing as in our world. Yes, in our lowly world and in the earth, there is that infinite light of God. But you can never compare the greatness of the revelation, which exists on its own, to that which is um, that which we have when it is cultivated by human effort. When we do our work, and we're talking here, obviously, in the spiritual realm, in Torah and mitzvahs, whatever there is magnified and maximized to a much greater extent. So, by now we finish this concept and we understand how um, the infinite light of God is revealed in the lowest dimension of everything, starting with the world of Atsilos into the worlds of Bria, Yitzir, and Asiya, now in our physical world also. And tomorrow we will conclude chapter 20 with a discussion of all of this and impacts our understanding about the value of mitzvah Smaisius, the value of doing mitzvah specifically over here in this physical world with physical objects.